keeping together. I think that's the main thing is if we're all together, then you know, you know, you can co accomplish more as a team. <laughs> Like many of America's professional warriors, Army Sergeant Robert Fierro served multiple combat tours. But he and his wife Lisa worked hard to keep their family a close and loving one. It was an awful shock when bad news came from Iraq. Robert had been shot in the head. I remember running around the corner to take cover and uh, thinking that I needed to, to return fire, and then that was it. The first time I saw Robert was on a ventilator and feeding tubes. He was black and blue. I mean, he looked like he'd been in the worst bar fight ever, just completely swollen. And I think that's why I didn't totally recognize him at first. But once I got close, I was like, oh, no, this is, this is my man. <laughs> it used to be said that if the Army wanted you to have a family, it would have issued you one. No more. Now, when someone's wounded, the military involves families from the get-go, even flying them to meet their loved ones at bedside. The biggest thing for him was having those boys there. When it was a struggle for him to walk at the beginning just because he was weak, you know, they were, they were the first ones to be like, come on, Daddy, I'll push you, I'll push you. It was like, okay, this is why. This is why I need to struggle. This is why I'm going to push as hard as I need to push for those two little guys. Having the family there helps a lot in your recovery. If I didn't have them there to help me, it probably would have taken me longer to recover. Oh, you can't put two. You're a cheater. Robert has made a speedy but incomplete recovery from his head wound. It's taken months to rebuild his cognitive skills, but he's worked hard and come a long way. Like other severely wounded troops and their families, the Fieros are just grateful he is alive. You know, you live your life, you go to the store, you take your kids to practice, and that's that. But I think now, you don't take that stuff for granted. You know, you, you want to savor the moment, just because, you know, it was taken away briefly and then given back to you. And so you have this gift, and why not embrace it? Spend time with the Fieros, and you come to admire and honor their strength and their resilience. They experienced an enormous shock pulled themselves together and plunged into the hard work of recovery and rehab. We can't know how difficult, dark, and depressing some of their days must have been, but we can give thanks that those days seem to be behind them. I hope to stay in the Army, and um, I'm, I plan on trying to change MOSs or jobs so that I can stay in, because as much as I love being a scout, I think I've put my family through a lot already. And I wouldn't want to do that again, but I do want to stay in the Army because I feel like I can, offer, I can still offer a lot.